Today's Daily Dose of Math is about basic algebra skills, specifically about multiplying. And by that I mean, what do I do when my variable is being multiplied by a number when I'm trying to do algebra? This is part of a series of videos that show all of the basic algebra skills. Let's do a few examples on the desktop. Here on the top left, we have 2x equals 10. The goal of algebra is that I want my x, my unknown, to be alone on one side of the equals. It's not alone, it has a 2 with it. And the 2 is being multiplied by the x. The way to get rid of that 2 is to do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides of my equation by 2. The rule of algebra is if you're going to divide the left side by 2, you have to divide the right side by 2. Anything that you do on the left side has to also be done on the right side. When I do this division, these 2's cancel. My x is alone, it's isolated, and 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. So I have the statement x equals 5 and that is my answer. This second example on the bottom left, we have 21 equals 3x. It's a very similar example, except this time my term, including x, is on the right side of the equals. But the process is the same. I want my variable to be alone. Since it's being multiplied by a 3, I do the opposite, and I divide both sides of the equation by 3. These 3's cancel. x is alone on the right side of the equals, and 21 divided by 3 is 7. So we have the statement 7 equals x, which might seem a little backwards, but we're able to write any equation backwards when we want. So we just turn 7 equals x into x equals 7 by writing it backwards, and we have our answer. In the bottom right example, again we have the same situation, but this time there are negative numbers involved. But again, the process is still the same. My x is not alone, it's being multiplied by a negative 6, so I do the opposite. I divide both sides of the equation by negative 6. These negative 6's cancel. x is now alone on the left side of the equals, and negative 60 divided by negative 6 is positive 10. I have my answer. Finally, on the top right, we have 2x equals 10, which is the same example that we started with on the top left. But this time we're going to do it with a little bit of a shortcut. If a student prefers, instead of showing the 2x over 2 on the left side, the student can just divide the right side of the equation by 2. We're really doing the same thing as we do over here. x equals 10 over 2, and 10 divided by 2 is 5, so we have the answer. It's the same answer. If you prefer to use this shortcut, do so. So now, of course, we can do our original example. We have 4x equals 12. My x is not alone, it's being multiplied by a 4. So I do the opposite. I divide both sides of the equation by 4. These cancel. x is isolated. 12 divided by 4 is 3. I have my answer. That is today's Daily Dose of Math. Please like, subscribe, and share.